Need something? You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really told you what happened to us. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Mr. Garvey is quite right, Mum. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, Mum. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time.
you're getting along just fine. It's nice to finally settle down after spending so much time with you. Sorry, I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. I want to trade a few things. Some days are harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than the one before. Don't take offense to Marcy. She's just working through the loss in her own way. Fine decision, Mum, or General, if I may. The Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. 